Well, one of the many impacts of Hurricane Matthew is uh, no high school football games tonight. There was one down in Charlotte County. Mm -hmm. Lemon Bay was playing at home, but otherwise all of them were either canceled or postponed until tomorrow. Uh, so that's why there's no football Friday night so show tonight. It's football it's Saturday. It's just uh, Bob and I having some fun. Interesting. Now, you know, the, uh, the story is, though, a lot of people are saying it's not as bad as it could have been, obviously. And the National Hurricane Center, uh, when it's talking about forecasting and putting up these warnings, they have to have a little timeline there. It has to be 48 hours in advance. Right. They put the watch out, you know, and 36 hours for the warning. And uh, the reason why they do that is because that's so much time the managers, city managers, county managers, whatever, need to evacuate people in time before yeah. the heavy winds get there. It's a catch-22, really, because uh, the storm itself stayed off in the water for the most part as far as the heavy rain, or I should say winds go. And so uh, they didn't get as bad as uh, what it could have been you know, for the most part. But South Carolina may see it, although the storm is weakening somewhat. They're still getting hit by some very heavy rainfall. And a little bit of storm surge, too, could be a big problem. Although the winds are lessening up, the storm surge will still be moving pretty good, and it will still be high as a result of that uh, water just gathering near the center. Lakewood Ranch webcam showing a pretty nice uh, sunset tonight, albeit uh, different kinds of colors out there. I'll tell you, we had some purple skies, uh, orange skies, red skies. Norm getting this one. Very nice shot looking out over Sarasota Bay. And then this one coming from Venice, Kimberly Slade getting this and uh, interesting looking clouds there with that nice purple. And Dave Levy, yeah, Dave Levy, Chicago Cubs fan, I understand, getting that shot right there. Uh, we are looking at uh, this right now opened up a little bit, which means that it's not nearly as organized as it once was. In fact, it's almost void of rain there in the south and southeastern portion of this uh, center and all the rain to the north now, and they've had a lot of reports, storm reports, uh, from Charleston southward all the way down to Savannah and even in Jacksonville recently with trees down, mainly trees down with these tropical storm force winds already moving on into South Carolina and Georgia throughout this evening. It doesn't appear that any hurricane force winds sustained are on Georgia's coast, although very close there. Uh, this is where the 110 mile hour winds are located. Now the storm center uh, continues to push off toward basically the north and will get picked up, we think, by a frontal system uh, that will eventually carry it off a little bit further off to the east. But there are still hurricane warnings in effect from just north of Daytona Beach all the way through South Carolina and into parts of North Carolina tonight as a result of uh, this system really may not make the break to the right before it makes landfall. We'll see how that plays out. 83 degrees. It's warm. It's muggy, though. The uh, humidity makes it feel like about 90. The dew point temperature way up there at 75. We are looking for drier air to slide in, though, tomorrow. 86 the high, 1 degree below average, and no rainfall to report today. We had a few brief showers, mainly to the north of us. Well, there it goes. Matthew now leaving Florida, hammering Georgia, South Carolina, and possibly on into North Carolina. There's that dry air I mentioned. It may slide in for just a couple of days before some of this moisture comes back our way. It could come back our way by midweek next week, but more and more of the solutions are very weak in terms of a weak storm system coming back toward the Bahamas by Wednesday of next week. But the color-enhanced satellite imagery is showing it's a rather ragged-looking a uh, hurricane right now, and not nearly as symmetrical as it once was when it was moving through the Bahamas just about 24 hours ago, and or I should say about uh, 36 hours ago. And there's Charleston right there. They're going to continue to see tropical storm force winds and the possibility of hurricane force winds through the night and into tomorrow morning. The latest on it, north at 12, that's where it's moving, and the top winds at 105 with gusts as high as 125. The forecast path and track continue to loop it back around, but I mentioned earlier at the top of the newscast that some models are suggesting it may get picked up by the front and just kind of become extra tropical as it moves off into the Atlantic, while others, the reliable models, push it down here as just a, a remnant low pushing off toward the southwest. Now, we still have a month and a half to go or so before the official end of the hurricane season. The coal's kind of dancing out here, which will move toward the uh, Bermuda, and uh, we uh, still have the possibility of other systems developing. The next name up, by the way, is Otto. You see what happens with Nicole. It goes down south and says, nah, I'm going to go back north. And there it goes in toward Bermuda as a tropical storm. And it looks like uh, for us, water temperatures remain warm throughout uh, much of the southwest Atlantic and throughout the Gulf of Mexico. We need a really strong cold front to move through to kind of shut down the Gulf as far as a breeding ground for these storms. But it hasn't happened quite yet. And there it is. The next storm up will be Otto followed by Paula and then Richard, and hopefully we won't have to go any further than that. But we could still see a couple of storms before the season officially ends November 30th. Low tide upcoming. We just had it. High tide will be at 432. 
and the forecast tonight. And not a 60% chance for storms, but about a 6% chance, mostly cloudy and breezy. Uh, we'll see winds uh, out of the northwest, anywhere from 10 to 20. Then the extended forecast calling for a nice day on Sunday and temperatures cooling down a little bit. Low 70s for lows both on Monday morning and Tuesday morning.